joys of technology. Camera get eaten in this thing. That didn't last very long at all, so I've had to plug it in for the moment. Seriously, considering using my iPhone, well, getting an iPhone 11 or something, surely the battery life on that must be longer. Right, okay. So now I just need to take 25mm out of both of these, out of here, out of here, and out of the bottom. For that, actually, I need a different blade. Got a good blade for that. I'll have to gauge it. Uh, let's see if we can bring this in. You guys can see that there, so they're just noggins, they're not structural at all. Let's get those tubes down. Let's 
nutrition is always worth having good tools to work with. Um, I mean, this is just a cheap chisel set from Wix, and it comes with a sharpening stone, so it just makes sense to keep them sharp. And they're not brilliant, a carpenter probably won't use them, but for what I use them, they're absolutely perfect. Uh, and all I'm going to do now is just straighten that out. Just need to go a bit deeper. Uh, see where the high points are and the low points are. Just hoping there we go. Thank you. 
You need to go in. Three down. Three more down. and a half, three quarter would be fine. Three quarter of an inch would be absolutely fine. So effectively that gets plastered in exactly like that. Now I know you guys are probably looking at me thinking, Jesus, you must get nothing done. You know, all that effort, all that work, I could smash that in by now. It's horses for courses, you know, there's different people, different methods, different levels different clients, you know, you need to tailor your business for the clients that you want and not everyone can afford to pay for all this to be done again. You know, this could have been done as an afterthought. I didn't need to put this on, I'm just proving that, you know, showing that these work nicely and I've quite like a nice edge. Not every client's going to want that level of detail. They don't mind paying the, the painter and decorator to spend an hour <laughs> sanding around it and sanding it down two or three times. Um, because this is my house, I, like, I want everything to be as perfect as I can possibly get it. So I've put in the time, I mean this whole project is two years in the making now, I mean you can kind of see where I am level wise. But I've really enjoyed it, I've really enjoyed the experience, um, and I want to know that it's perfect. It's as perfect as I can make it anyway. So, you know, yes I do use these techniques out on the job, I vary them with the jobs that I'm doing. You know, again, I try to look after other trades as well. So, plasters that I work with, they don't fill my boxes up with plaster. 
or cut the cables back because my cables are coiled up inside and, and they can clean it out for me. It's, you know, they appreciate it. Um, the little things. You know, we're all here to do the best that we can, hopefully earn some money in the, in, in, in the grand scheme of things. Um, the way to make money, guys, is to do a nice job and do it properly and never have to go back. Cutting corners, you know, you only end up with problems and then you start losing money very rapidly. So it's something to think about. Okay, you can see where I'm going, to, where I'm going with this. I'm probably not going to... I could just buy speed up it in there, whatever it's called. You can see it all happening rather than switching the camera off. But effectively, I'm going to do the same thing up here with these. Move that. Zoom in. And how much camera uh, memory card I've got left? Not beeping at me yet. Alright, let's see. Okay. So what? I'm going to cheat for this. You see me? No. Yeah, I'm going to cheat for this. I'm actually going to go behind there because there's no plaster wall on the other side, and I'm just going to knock it out from the other side. It'd be so much easier. Right. One. Who's this one? 
Screw that needs to go. So I'm looking for it going through that centre of that screw, which it is. So I've got adjustment on that one. Centre of that screw, a little bit higher. Perfect. That one there. There we go. Through the middle. Spot on. As Pete will tell you, you don't need to have these um, screwed on. You can just put them on with uh, 
staples. Personally, I like to get them screwed on and I'm going to staple it as well. staple guns run out, so I'm hoping that this will be enough just to hold this in. Same down Probably didn't need that many staples, but uh, a hole all the way down there in front of the sink. <laughs> right, okay, let's zoom that out. <laughs> So, there we go. In fact, let's um, bring this. I'll get that over the other side. You might be able to appreciate what I was trying to achieve. So, there you go. Socket directly in between the two lights, like well, the, the light switch in the, um, the room step. So once that's all plastered, obviously, it'll look a lot better. Cool.